That's my understanding is that yeah. she's skeptical, whereas Franken is, it's my understanding Franken has refused to take a position yet. Yeah. And, and if anybody sure. wants. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. That's my, uh, the queen of the queen of uh, yeah. <laughs> avoiding. Mm -hmm. But I think that Gary Adler because maybe nobody else knows it or doesn't. But essentially, we have six hundred corporations that have um, that have basically had several years to develop this more or less in secrecy, and now being handled as a as a, uh, a treaty, an international treaty, which generally you would think of as being reserved more for. Um, you know, diplomatic matters where you're trying to prevent war and things of that sort. So the problem there is that an economic treaty is being then kind of camouflaged or hidden from the public um, uh, as if it was uh, something that really had to be secret when it really isn't. Um, and then in fact uh, turning around and then trying to do fast track, which they really have already said because if it's out, no one's going to want to accept it. Um, because essentially these corporations um, are uh, eliminating um, all sorts of laws that already exist mm -hmm. for health issues, for safety issues for uh, people, and, and basically going to the lowest common denominator. So an example would be if the standards in Vietnam for fishery, which we know are terrible, would now become uh, what we have to abide by, irregardless of what um, our laws may be. So this is, it really uh, just sort of uh, neutralizes um, or eliminates all sorts of laws that most countries have put in put to protect themselves, it would eliminate them. And unfortunately, to speak about it is treasonous. Um, so because of this absurd, uh, uh, you know, um, protection of being an international treaty, which is another just a horrendous, uh, you know, sort of terminology. Yeah, it's, 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 like, it's, it's like hard to believe mm -hmm. it can be that nightmarish. <clears throat> because international treaties supersede national law. That's correct, mm -hmm. right, right, exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Add Patty and then Mike on stack. really does help shape and form their decision making. Um, I wouldn't have thought that of Amy Klobuchar, but she did actually get her to change her mind. So taking action right outside your headquarters is usually a really good action. So if you're not really going to listen to us, um, then I think we need to be present in their face and plan an action day to go to their offices again and demand accountability I agree with you entirely. I think even there's even more reasons to go outside of Amy Klobuchar's office, being that she co-sponsored uh, the, the Media Shield bill, which would essentially name people like me or Dan or maybe a few other people in this room as, uh, what's the term? Hmm. Something like terrorist. Terrorist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you know, it's pretty much a straight up terrorist. I think that she, because I think that when we are present at their offices, it really does change their thought processes because they're not out in Washington, D.C., they're here. And I think that, you know, we really need to think about addressing things like maybe coming up with a 20 point or a 10 point um, agenda for her to hear out from her constituents about how we do not appreciate her making those kinds of decisions. Joy. Another reason why that's very effective is you can actually walk into the office and request time with their their front people and yeah. sit down in an office and voice your concerns directly to them. Mm -hmm. and it was effective. I think absolutely. I think it is effective. And maybe that, that should be our lead idea for uh, an action if we're, if we're mm -hmm. planning one. Um, I'll write them up here. 
We don't have a VGA cable, so <laughs> we can hook up the projector unless somebody has a VGA cable. Oh, there is a VGA cable. Look at that. I didn't see it. of speaker of uh, representatives from around the city who are actively opposed, you know, groups that are actively opposed to this, to go in in a group to talk to her while the rep, the the masses, the rest of us who are part of these groups are outside. Well, I think as many people representing as many groups as possible to increase the pressure. Well, I, I think that it's she has supported and has sponsored in legislation that where did she where did she get the idea that it was okay why isn't she checking with her constituents I mean you know she doesn't have the party bond to just do whatever she wants to do she is accountable to us and she does respond to us so I think maybe having a, a strategy meeting or an organizational meeting of some sort come together plan an action day call the legislators that that you had mentioned, or whoever, and have them go meet with her along with the rest of us. Maybe call some fellas and not call it. No, I think that's great. I think um, there's enough people pissed off about this, and rightfully so. I think that we need to be bold. <coughs> Just one more suggestion. There was a suggestion earlier that we break up into small groups, so maybe this may be one of those small groups. Okay. Um, you know, to talk about these issues because I think that um, that format that we have used in smaller circles with different agenda items mm -hmm. um, yeah. would be useful. I think that's a great idea. I think uh, it probably really the best thing to do. Well, then we come back together and we report back on what we thought was uh, most relevant. I don't know. We could we could take a vote on that if people are generally in favor of splitting up into small groups or if they, well, they're nice. Like, we had we had this format before, and we broke up into small groups based on what our interests were for the evening, and we discussed them. We came up with some brainstorming ideas. We came back as a larger group, and we, uh, we had a representative from each group report back to the larger group about what we had decided or what we had concluded or whether or not it needed more discussion. Um, but I thought it was a very effective way um, for all of us to be involved in our level of our, our areas of interest. Rather than just, you know, have one particular topic, we could have several topics and brainstorm around those. I'm for it, generally. Um, what, do, what, do, what do people think? I mean, yeah. Would you like to do that? Let's, let's take a temperature check on it. If people are in favor of it, can you go like no. this? And if not in favor, could you go like this? Small groups? Looks like we got a majority. So we're going to go with that. Um, Dan, do you want to explain what we got pulled up here first? And okay. Then we well, our projector has seen better days, so this, the picture is a little distorted. Um, but uh, basically, what it shows is uh, different sections of the training. Um, you can maybe like turn the lights down, but um, yeah, so you got things about market access, uh, rules of origin, like where your beef comes from and stuff. And then these are like accept or reject. So uh, national treatment, Australia, New Zealand, US accepted, but the other ones sort of mostly don't. Um, our projector's having a little issue, so imagine these are like <laughs> one thing together. Um, but anyway, so it lets you kind of understand these are the different parts of the issues as of uh, no, 6th of November 
this is where everything was basically in the status of agreements um, in the terms of these different uh, areas. So yeah, rules of origin has to do with like trade of stuff, uh, export taxes. Um, and so you can see that there's like a lot of disagreement as to which countries do or don't support different provisions of it. So let me scroll down because there's stuff about agriculture and medicine. Um, let's see. So, yeah, dude, cheese has got to be in there. Dude, so there's a lot of WikiLeaks cables about cheese, actually. Yeah, no. cheese Look up WikiLeaks is, cheese. Yeah, cheese is huge importance in the world. Yeah, I mean, literally, like, like trade yeah. deals about yeah. cheese have a lot of intrigue. No, <laughs> yeah, like literal cheese. cheese is yeah. are an immense international market. Yeah. People don't realize how big it is. Yeah, cheese in the conspiracies. Industry. Yeah. I think this is particularly worth okay. noting how there's a lot of countries seemingly in favor of establishing another central bank, a central central bank. That's that's a little bit scary. Yeah, that is. Yeah, well, back in uh, 2009, the, the president of, uh, of Russia had a, a coin. And a lot of people don't realize Russia, China, and a lot of the other countries are trying to create their own bank, own a way of currency to push the U.S. back. So yeah. there's a lot of dangerous things around the corner if we don't, you know. You know. Right. It looks like something related to that is lurking in here. So Yeah, and then there's also pieces that we haven't discussed, like the Open Skies Agreement, which has to do with deregulating pollutants mm -hmm. um, in the atmosphere. Which would fall into the geoengineering. Yeah. Very, very similar to the Bush administration's policies. Yeah. It's pretty wide and sweeping and all-encompassing. Yeah. yeah. Which is why it demands our And then if you see, yeah, if you, we continue scrolling down, you'll see a bunch. So the next part, environment. So accept, reject, reject, or reserve position. Environmental law. What's the URL for this? Uh, it's on wikileaks.org. Um, else what? Uh... Um, there, it's on there's our front page right now, I think. Yeah. It should be on there. But yeah, it, 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 yeah. yeah. it shouldn't take too much digging. And yeah, so there's. Wikileaks.org, if you search TPP, if it's not. And there's a bunch of stuff about biodiversity and derivatives and climate change, fishery subsidies. Yeah. And then. So and you'll even see oddball things like illegal fishing not reported. Yeah. Like. And, and all these countries are agreeing to it. They're like, well, we, um, yeah, we're going to track this, but then we're not going to tell anybody, and we're not going to do anything about it. We're just going to track what's being done illegally. Yeah. And so people are... Like, it should be interesting to those... Right. And that is another piece of why I'm here. Who's the point person for the, for the U.S. side? It, I don't the know the trade representative? I can't remember his name. Roman or something like yeah. that. Yeah. That's right. So maybe we should identify that man and organize a letter campaign or something. I think that's a great idea. I thought it was Obama with one person on it. Obama? Yeah. So it looks like everyone disagrees about sure. tobacco. Sure, it's a lot of different people. Like, there's something about tobacco that everyone disagrees except Malaysia and the United States. There's like the IP. There's a lot of people a lot of money rejecting that idea right off the top. Yeah, intellectual property patentability criteria. Only the, only the U.S. and Peru really and Australia support that. So China would it because China has more smokers in the population of the United States. Yeah. So, so I mean, do you think that it would be good to have like? subgroups of people that address some of these categories, like the intellectual property thing and the agriculture or the tr more trade, trade yeah. of like commodities type side, do you think that's like something people should have a group discussion about? Like the way that I see or, it, yeah, I mean, whatever, the way I see it. I, I, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. I think what would be good, because th there are a couple of topics here this evening that I heard that are pretty, you know, I mean, one of the reasons why I came and I started this the December 23rd on the Federal Reserve um, action um, that's going on throughout the country with you know, the charter 100 years itself. And then anyway, um, but that's one issue, one topic, and then we have, you know, this 
splitting up into multiple groups, whether it is writing a letter campaign to the point person, or whether it's writing Amy Klobuchar showing up outside her door, or any number of different things, occupying the Federal Reserve, whatever. There's a lot of <coughs> a lot of different things we could go down. So I guess one way of doing this <coughs> uh, so, oh I'm sorry, go ahead. Well it seems like there there are two needs here. One is there's a lot of information for people to absorb. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more for people to learn about what is being proposed and what's being done. And then there's how to, how to respond to it. And um, so like even having some kind of study circles or some people may do some research and do some mm -hmm. coherent presentations would be you know one, one way, yeah. one suggestion and then but then also, um, you know, I've heard some creative ideas about how to respond. And, and I happened to be at a Fair Trade Coalition event last weekend and heard that they were working on this issue. And I knew I was coming here tonight. And um, the guy from, from there who's working on it, Josh Wise, um, didn't know about this event. But I said, well, do you have some information for me to take? So I did bring a flyer that they're handing out. Mm -hmm. But I thought it, it might be useful to um, for this group to connect with that group if there are any local groups working on this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'll pass these around. People can take them if they want. I haven't been in contact with Fair Trade Coalition, but I do know yeah, that they are very active in this. Yeah, I can, I can and follow I know, up with them because I know some of the folks. Yeah. And like I was mentioning, I was talking about with my aunt yesterday, there's a... Um, there's a lot of different unions that are pissed off about this, too. I mean, it's, well, it's pretty universal. The AFL yeah. has come out against it, which encompasses just about everything. Um, you know, mainstream unions, the IWW is obviously also against it. Um, can't think of a union that would be for it. Um, you know, even the unions that sometimes have wedge issues, you know, like building trades versus environmental issues, like this is so all encompassing and so all screwing the people that I, I can't imagine any union that <laughs> wouldn't be actively against it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to propose that we, since it seems like this is a pretty short period of time. There's obviously a lot to cover. There's a lot to go back and read up on. Um, that we could schedule another meeting for either action planning or, yeah, primarily for action planning is what I would say. Are there any national days of action on this that are coming up that we should just, just say we big one. Okay. On the third. Isn't like another one coming up anytime soon? Anyone? Not that I know of you. No, I don't have an answer for that. I was okay. going to suggest that maybe could, since we were talking about dividing up, could we maybe have a couple groups focus on how we might divide up this into sort of clusters so that we, and because it's kind of unmanageable, I think it's just too many yeah. topics. If we, if, if some people kind of work on that, then maybe we could work up a list of, of uh, all the associated organizations that we think might be worth contacting regarding this, because I think you've already pointed out two or three, and I'm sure if we start sticking our heads together, we'll probably come up with many more. Yeah. But it seems to kind of be a rudimentary thing to get a cluster of, 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 of what are going to kind of join together uh, on the 29th, correct? There's 29 different provisions. Yeah. yeah. I know a number of them are still secret. Um, yeah, am I wrong, or has it looked like the administration's attempt to fast track this has somewhat slowed down or been, well, I don't want to say totally derailed, but it's hit some speed bumps along the way. I think well, there's a lot of 
Yeah. Yeah. A lot of uh, legis lot of legislatures, a lot of legislators are not happy because it's right. taking it out of their control. And well, so, and it's and for once, I think um, our fabulous uh, uh, house, uh, uh, for once, the dysfunctional house is going to help us. Yes. Yeah. But also, I heard today um, that they were planning on taking it up up uh, the second week of January. Uh, as Sam was mentioning earlier, the response to the WikiLeaks draft. In fact, there, there was an article was it a couple of days ago on WikiLeaks. It's uh, they they put out something talking about how things are starting to slow down in response to it. And they had a bunch of quotes from people in the State Department saying they're worried that they're not going to be able to pull it off because of the WikiLeaks drops. So. Yeah, I just I had this article from Forbes. It says, uh, U.S. fails to close TPP deal as WikiLeaks exposed Discord. Yeah, that yeah, to be yeah, in yeah. Forbes magazine is kind of a, kind of a big thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we might have slowed it down thus far, but I still think it's a great idea for us to network in between these different groups. Well, yeah, and it's really not done. They keep yeah, hammering on the same thing. Yeah. Give us an opportunity to do Absolutely. And, uh, you know, reach out to more people and to talk to our union friends and to wh whoever it is. I have you and then you and then you. Okay. On stack. Go ahead. Idea. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. I'd actually asked to speak earlier, but I think I'll take a chance now. Uh, and I, I'm going to be speaking as the guy that ran against Amy Klobuchar and Al Franken and Keith Ellison. Um, you guys, I mean, let, let's, let's be really honest here about, you know, trying to push our legislators to do what's right. They're not going to. You just need to be, you need to be aware of something. Our, all of our legislators are all bought. They're all bought. They've all been bought, they've been packaged, and they've been sold to us as part of a so-called democracy when it's not an actual democracy. It's actually a bought-out corporate plutocracy. And I have to say this, and I have to say things that are going to make some, some liberals progressive, which are a little uncomfortable. But I know for a fact, because I know this for a fact, because I've talked to the guy who actually said this to me. Keith Ellison, the great champion of the TPP exposure, knew about the, two, the TPP two years ago. He knew about this two years ago and didn't say anything until about four months ago when it was almost too late for us to actually do something. So yes, we should go to their offices and we should try and pressure them and blah, 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 blah. But quite frankly, that's not, trying to, to call your election to do what's right is not gonna help us. Getting out into the goddamn streets in massive numbers and even get to the point of shutting stuff down to wake these people up and scare them enough mm -hmm. so it's actually going to get us somewhere. Because I'd like to remind, or like to remind yeah. you all that the most, liberal, the most liberal president we've ever had was Richard Nixon. And Nixon was the most liberal, not because he was a liberal, but because the powers that be were frightened to death of people hitting the streets. So trying to attempt to push your legislators and write them a letter to do what's right is not going to get us anywhere. Hitting the streets will. Well, I was just going to say um, that public citizen and other groups, uh, they are starting a op-ed or, or, or letter to the editor campaign and trying to get uh, information into the mainstream media because it just isn't there. Yeah. Okay. And um, if, if people reject, if the papers reject it, then they're going to be giving, they're going to be starting petitions either, you know, give them exposure about just trying to get more exposure into the media because it's been very difficult. That's great. I think I'm mm. just started writing this down. I was going to, you know, can we just throw out groups that we think we should be getting in contact with? We can each take a picture of it or write them down ourselves and then we can meet, each make our own 
attempt to reach out to these groups and, it, and uh, plan accordingly, whether it's a, a letter, letter writing campaign, whether it's showing up outside the office, whether it's an occupational holding strategy inside of a fair trade office. Whatever we do, we're better out than we all together with that as opposed to you know, trying to <coughs> form some splinter cell. So, who's got groups? Land stewardship. Spell that for me. Land, L A N D, stewardship <laughs> project. And the co ops. So they've got a hand in blood. I don't know. Yeah. What was that? I'm sorry. Land stewardship <laughs> project. project. Uh, oh, Patty. project, sorry. Yeah, Patty. Oh, um, the Occupy Federal Reserve, whichever one there is. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then there's okay. in December, yeah. And there's the Minnesota Fair Trade Coalition, those guys. And a lot of, there's a bunch of people in that group. And uh, so, should we uh, try to break up into smaller groups right now? And then maybe like, should there? I think there would probably make sense to have like a short run action group like within a month span or whatever. Like I think that might be one good group. Another one to do kind of like the analytical decompiling, and then somebody another group maybe to work on like. The network of finding like next steps with other people. Does that seem like a logical set of uh, groups to people? What What do you guys think? Anything else, Patty? I, I think that the TPP is so complicated for a lot of people that a teaching would probably be well served. I mean, so that That's kind of what this serves as. Yeah. You know, I, it but. is, but it doesn't. I think more yeah. specialization because of. Mm -hmm. The intricacies involved with this, yeah. you know, I think that it's going to take a little bit more than 15 minutes for people to really understand yeah. what it's yeah. about. Okay, so and that, a teacher definitely, and then Adam, and then uh, Doug. It's pretty, as an activist and someone that usually knows my stuff, and, and I didn't hear about it until Bill Moyer's journal, or you know, Bill did a, a really, really steady uh, thing on it. Which is, you know, so there are, you know, people in more of the mainstream progressive ends that are talking about it on things, but it's 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 a very complicated thing. Even uh, experts talking about it for an hour, and I can still learn much more about it. Yeah. No, I think those are all great ideas. Um, before we do split in, did anyone else have oh, to? Oh, I was just gonna say, I, I to tag on what Patty was saying. Um, I think that that's not only absolutely true about needing more detail, but that's one of the useful things I picked up at the AFL conference uh, was that, uh, you know, in, in national um, market testing around messaging for fighting back against it, um, pretty much everyone agreed that we need detailed conversation. There's no way to reduce it. Um, you know, for example, the, the earliest uh, memes about it were comparing it to NAFTA and other trade agreements, and what they found out was really nobody knows these other trade agreements or what they entail. So, like, we, we have to just assume people know nothing and we have to figure out ways to distill it in a functional manner but yet explaining the details because when you're trying to talk to the average people nobody gets it. You're right. And they, and they intentionally mask it for that reason right. so that and you, that's, just your everyday person doesn't get it so they're not going to pay right. attention. Even using acronyms versus right. the full name Mm -hmm. Like it, it obfuscates things if it's just a bunch of letters. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Did you have something to say? Yeah, I was just going to say where are all these, like, what groups are going to meet anywhere? Because uh, I think over here we're going to have the uh, TPP folks, uh, such as um, Good Cheese, Young Warren, um, Internet Porn, and Movie Sharing, <laughs> Marijuana, <Yeah>. and Tobacco. <laughs> Sake, could we, go ahead. Um, there are these great postcards. Yeah, nice. The the Occupy. Museum. Museum. 
Are those Occu cards? Yeah. Cool. Send one nine bucks for a And they tell you, they give you a lot of information. They do. Occupy. Occucards.com. They've. This is Occu card number twenty one. So. Number yeah. And they ship so. quickly. Nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Before we split I in the a couple small of those. groups, could we perhaps brainstorm still just a, a decent list so that I can have that and then I can start hitting people up? We can okay, discuss so. teach ins, we can discuss putting oh, together good. all sorts of different events, whether it's direct okay. action training, whether it's letter writing campaigns, teach ins, move to free amend. form. Yeah. Move, move to amend. Move to amend is a great one. I know that there are each of the labor. Each of the labor groups. Well, we have a local Mulan council too, and you know, we can probably get some people involved. Move on. Yep. I have a micro group here. A micro group? The AFL, yeah. for sure. Yeah, Lion? I would really like to talk with somebody who knows about electronics because there are lots of plans on the internet. On that later. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, this is going to be an important <laughs> skill in 2014. It's going to be big. It'll be bigger than Bitcoins, I'm telling you. It probably will be. But will it be bigger than Doom Corp? <laughs> Who knows where the SEIU stands on this? I don't know. Uh, uh, anyone? Specifically, or. In, you know, I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, yeah, they're against it. Uh, yeah. Like I said, everybody in the AFL, which includes most of the SEIU at this point. Yes, yes, yes. Does anybody have any good, like, I don't know, Tea Party type contacts or anything? Yeah. Specific yeah. people that you Honestly, can think of? Reach out to the right wing on this one. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still have a few. I've lived in Texas for a very long time. I actually get along with conservatives better than my fellow progressives. I don't know why that is. So I actually, I actually know Carl Rove's personal assistant from one of my contacts in Texas. I don't think he's interested in helping us. <laughs> when I met him, it was weird because I was at a meeting. This was one story. It's just and and all right. Carl we have one voice, please. He had a bunch of documents because I was running with the Green. And a lot of times the Republicans will work with the Greens. And, and he was wearing, a, his, his assistant was wearing cutoff jeans and a pink Floyd shirt. Carl Rove's assistant when he met with us. Okay. <laughs> That's classic. Story. Yeah, it's classic. classic. Does so anyone else have any other groups? <laughs> 350 in Sierra. 350 in Sierra. Not bad. Yeah. All right. And so we have the idea that we need to get like a, a teaching together. You know, maybe that wouldn't be with like in time this month because it's the holidays coming up and everything. Yeah. It sounds like probably there won't be an instant thing happening. Like. During this month, because everything's been held back enough, right? Like, or not? Yeah, they're not going to suddenly. Like it might be mid-January, which doesn't give us a lot of time after the holiday. Right, right. So we should expect to have to get moving, like in January, tenth or fifteenth or whatever. Does that seem like? I'm sorry. Yeah. I was just going to say, trying to find more more of these groups. I was wondering if it wouldn't be worthwhile going back to trying to divide up the. Uh, the 29 categories. So the reason being that I think that might kind of, you know, help us understand, you know, a particular mm -hmm. section, and then say, oh, this group, this group would be appropriate. Right. Because um, yeah. I think right now we're kind of pick, I'm picking probably good, good things, and I, I think they're all valid. But, mm -hmm. but it might help us find more. Absolutely. Right. I think this, that's a great idea. This connects. This all connects to a lot of people in very specific ways. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be a right. small group activity is trying to build those connections. All right, uh, uh, Henry, and then Patricia. Common cause is another group, and if somebody has a local, I'm I'm going blank right now, but any local internet rights group, because a lot of a lot of what's going into uh, or what's attempting to go into TPP has to do with the equivalent of FIFA and so forth. Mm -hmm. and there was an ask about tricor and stuff. So any local internet group. That's a great point, uh, Patricia. Oh, I just wanted to mention when you said 350. 
Roots movement going on within those countries to stop this within their own country, or are we up against it here fighting international by ourselves? I don't have an exact answer to that question, but I think it's an excellent question. The event photo that we used for this event on Facebook which was featuring, was it Japan? They're from Japan, yeah. It was a big protest going on in Japan that was explicitly against right. the TPP. So I know that there is definitely groups out there. I don't have any names. So. Yeah. Um, this is just general, but I have seen uh, information about lots of protests in lots of other countries. I, no, I believe it. Yeah. No, I mean, I, the, the general sentiment in the world right now about these sort of agreements is that they're all being arranged by U.S. corporations, and most other countries don't really want that, um, you know. So it, there's a lot going on both publicly and, you know, among protest groups in various countries, and I'm not sure if anybody's tracking it, but we can certainly follow up and try and find, like, lists of who's doing it. Um, um. I'll just make one little comment about the, the perception of American comp uh, corporations is that it is, they're by shareholders. And really, in all honesty, one of the scary parts of, uh, of all the power that is in fact in this country by supposedly American companies may be that the, that the majority of the stockholders, for instance, Fox News, has an enormous amount of the, of the stockholder is one person um, in Saudi Arabia. So, um, and has no interest in oil whatsoever, I'm sure. So, um, <laughs> so the thing is that um, it, it's really a little misleading to think of a corporation as being identified as a country per se, because it really depends on who owns the stocks, and that could be anybody in the world. Right. So, that's all. Well, I think that's a very valid point. Yeah. Well, the people. corporations are people, we know that, because yes. Romney yes. told us. So. Right. But that's <laughs> another good. thing that this TPP will escalate them from corporate personhood to corporate nationhood, giving the, them the ability to sue countries or other corporations and, and, and like I said, drag more public funds and out. That's exactly what, what, our, what our local um, Cargill just did in the last year or so with Mexico when they have the audacity to say that their kids should not be eating enough corn <laughs> syrup um, and, and so therefore not getting diabetes as easily. Um, fortunately, uh, Cargill, who desperately needs money, was given, I think it was $77 million by the uh, Mexican government. Wow. I mean, and these sorts of embarrassing points should be made particularly clear here in Minnesota so that people understand just what kind of garbage this is. Yeah. I think it's a great opportunity. Um, what's, what's going on? Well, so, uh, Adam was next. I think we should probably like close out the stack for the d discussion on the points of the TPP here, and then try to break down into smaller groups that are sort of like topical and next. I think does that sound like a good plan for everybody? I sure. Because right, I think that would be really good to to do that. We could stretch for a second. Good to meet some new folks and everything. So, uh, Adam, did, did you have a, a point to make? Well, uh, I'm sure everybody knows this, but the, 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 what people don't realize is that there in capitalism there's no borders. And, and, and I'm saying borders started with Rome, and that's a great thing, but it makes them more dangerous because they don't have any one, they're so rich, they have no one legion to a country. So the way their monopoly is set up, it's very dangerous to, to, to sovereign rights, you know, because if, if things are globalized and regulated, you know, by the U.S., all over the world, it's gonna solve it. It, there's gonna be no other country we can go to because they're all adopting the same things, and that's very dangerous. Agreed. Fair point. I'm, I just have two more things. If anyone else can think of any other groups before they leave tonight, be sure write them up on the board if they can, or pitch them to me. I'm also gonna grab a piece of paper 
and set it in the back there. And if people want to leave their contact information, preferably their name and email is probably the best way to get in contact with you, or your phone number so that we can coordinate from here on out. If I could see that list again, I would love to. The, I had greasy fingers last time to sign it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so no, 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 I couldn't sign <laughs> if I could specify, chicken, so, yeah. like, I think these are these are the ideas that, that we got. Like, so we we do want to figure out a teach in. I think that's super important. Um, people definitely want to talk about action, short run action, more of an autonomous thing. You know, cheese, and the, the cheese situation is part of analysis, including analysis of cheese. So, um, those are at least three broad ideas that I think are pro people seem to be receptive to. Were there any other sort of topical ideas for subgroups that we could break into and hang out for? It's a little after eight, so maybe about half an hour, forty minutes, something like that. Um, anything else? Uh, yes. Sure. This is the porn table. All right. So all the naughty things in the World Trade System are in that corner. That is definitely the case. Um, the shadowy scenarios. Uh, are there any other sort of issue areas that we wanted to? Get to in a specific like subgroup today. Could we see the 29 come down in the water? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I figured like we can maybe have the analysis type people up here, and we can kind of like go through the different sides of it a little bit, and then try to come up with other people to reach out to about those groups. And then the action cats can kind of sort of look at okay, who can we really get at? Put some pressure on here in the cities. Get out there soon. Call something. Maybe quick. Maybe keep an eye out. Find some weird angle. You know. So does that sound like a decent idea for folks? Does that seem like a good plan for the next like 40 minutes or so? That's a good use of everyone's time? And yes? No? Uh, uh, all right. Okay. Sounds good. All right. It's good. I think, I mean, this is really good, folks. When we called this meeting, it seemed like this whole thing was going to sail through. And people are waking up. There's friction. We're, we're getting somewhere with this. So we've got a big opportunity here. I think it's really good. So how about, let's say, um, the analysis cats will will take over the projector and kind of hang out by the front and like look at the sections. Uh, do you want to do action back there? Mm -hmm. Action corner of fun. Okay. All right. And then teaching zone over there. How about that? Triangle with the extension crying pan handle of sneakiness in the corner. All right. <laughs> the party's over there. Be decompressed. All right. Thank you all for coming, and then we'll sort of reconnect and, and move along in like 30, 40 minutes, all right? Groovy. All right. Yeah, yeah no kidding. I have to. I think so. But everyone's coming out of the door, so like, guys, we need to do websites. You, you are absolutely like, right. We're not even full-time. Oh, yeah. Like, no, I know that. All of a sudden, it's weird. Oh, okay. No kidding. Oh, okay. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hello, live stream. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. We have one viewer right now. All right, do you think we should keep it running? Uh, it never hurts to have it running. Yeah, I suppose. It's good to have a, a view on things. Yeah, it proves to people who are still... Yeah. 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 This is pretty good for, you know, pretty cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I feel, I feel way better about the TV case. It's right from here. Yeah. 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 They benefit so much from the stuff you're doing. It's crazy. You put teaching over in this corner? Yeah, yeah, teaching over there. Okay. So, yeah, teaching is over there, and analysis over here, action over there. Yeah. Action is where it's at. We won't bring the live stream over there. Yeah, I'm kind of staying Yeah, yeah. On the internet. Yeah. The interwebs. Let me get this thing working again. Yeah. I heard an ad on NPR on the way over here for like an intellectual property law firm, and their slogan was ideas own. I was like, Oof. oh my god, gross. That's a new like growth industry around here, you know? It's crazy. How you doing? Hey. Cool. I'm just trying to get this thing working. 
section. Yeah. yeah. Just so much. I, I looked at Google News and saw, you know, some headlines from around. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, but, uh, But yeah, I mean, do you know any other like really good websites? Right? You know that it's yeah. Sunday yeah. and stuff. But, but, but anyway, sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. I mean, it depends no, on yeah. different parts. What uh, quality was coming around was great. Um, was it was like TPP. Yeah. yeah. Uh, people I work with. Uh, uh, we do quite a lot of analysis on both TPP and TT IP and uh, just around agricultural yeah. a lot of the issues. Yeah. So that's our focus. That's kind of where my understanding is. I don't really look at it. Sure. Is there info out there? Like what, what's the point of what they're trying to get across about the agriculture situation? Oh, yeah. Um, just uh, basically, it all comes for most of it comes down to what's called harmonization or regulatory yeah. coherence, mm -hmm. which is what Mike was saying about the lowest common denominator. Right. You were occupied, you always saw something in me because I had Nazi. Yeah. Do you remember? You're like, hey, Adam, how would you like to go meet with the cops? Because you knew. And I remember the guy who went to it because I was using my Scotch Irish charm and yeah, making yeah. him laugh. And, and he was all serious. I'm like, wait a sec. We got in a little argument after we walked out. I was like, you know, it's like, no, where I come from, I make people laugh, you make them relax, that's how you get things done. Well, yeah. Did that work with the police? Because they're so ingrained in good, uh, bad guys. Well, they're guy. not going to change, but I, I put a smile on their face. No. And, but I was also serious and, and, and talked about what we needed done. Well, I know, like, one of the in certain movements, like, um, in certain countries, the police see, you know, the protesters either as, like, the others, like, the bad guys. Kind of thing. Or they see them as, like, their own kids. Well, and I was giving crap because I made friends with some of the security on the plaza. Like Leroy. Right, but that's the thing is that they need to see you as a new Like if they see you as somebody that they can identify. Well, and I follow. I mean, I, I'm not saying I was I was a saint there, but I, but when when it came to business, I worked with them. I, one of the security guards bought me a sandwich and gave me cigarettes, and I and I got ripped on for it for like selling out. Oh, wow. What, um, where would that be on this? And there's also but a, Johnson, uh, you said you were a bunch of hippies. I'm just going to try to get this up on my <laughs> overhead here. I was up on the city council, and I made a joke. For some reason, I was on fire, and I was standing up there. And I right. Both of the, all the Republicans just laughed. Because I was able to laugh at ourselves. You know, I was able to put that humor. They still said no, but it was just like... You can make uh, yeah. an asshole right wing your laugh <laughs> and able to laugh at yourself. So go, the way I dip on that is really uh, yeah. this, 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 you know, relating with them. Um, they would actually bring down. Yeah, could you talk of, actually, if we can... I think that might be really good to get on the record here. Can you talk a little bit about how that stuff works? Like, what codex... Yeah, could you just try to... It's a little loud. Um, so you're saying that this goes beyond Codex Alimentarius and like what it does? Yeah, essentially. I mean, like, uh, like GMO stuff. Uh, for GMO regulation internationally, uh, it is found within the sanitarium, so I don't say the very serious section of the Codex Alimentarius, which is the internet to trade, uh -huh. uh, which the WTO bases trade, trade agreements or is the basis for trade agreements. Safety regulations. What the TPP would do, uh, or TPIP, mm -hmm. would go beyond, it's called going beyond these regulations, mm -hmm. but in actual fact it would be stipulating that GMO would be legal within these bilateral trade 
treaty. So, so they would be obliged to have to allow GMOs? Yes, within wow. that, that trade framework. Okay. Wow. That's crazy. And then if they're, if it's not allowed, um, then uh, corporations could bring um, governments to a trade tribunal uh, and sue them. Wow. The government directly, if they perceive a loss of profits. That's crazy. So I'm just wondering, like, how, I don't know. I mean, the idea here is, like, how can we, like, slice and dice this thing, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a, yeah, we're trying to figure out how to kind of come at this thing. Yeah, you know? I, I, I think that's a fascinating problem. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> right, and I, I really like your input on that, um, but... Uh, and I'm Mike, by the way. And you yeah, are, I'm Dan, 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 Dan okay. Fyfe, yeah. And, uh, and, and you're wounded, I can see with the yeah. Patrick. Yeah. It's nice to yeah. meet you. And, <laughs> Jennifer. Jennifer. Hi, and so we're going to leave the live stream cruising over here. I've got I've got it split screen so people can look at the uh, the rubric basically that similar to the rubric we've got up here. So we're on, this is the intellectual. Pro Do you need me to scroll it up or down or this is kind of the lower section of the document. So we have 20 in my column, we have 29 categories. Intellectual property would be an example of one of them. Yeah, yeah. Like there's all these different chapters. Yeah, I guess, yeah. And that's the most one of the most complicated because it's got, like, the most entries, you know? Like, environmental law is pretty big, legal. But look at all these, like, intellectual property. Are these... Yeah, I understood that. And these... Yeah, no... And then look at that, though. It's just, it's huge, you know? And most people don't really like it. Like, if you look at most of those countries, they're not down with it. Or the U.S. disagrees with what they want. Like, it's not very supported at all. It's not moving along. So, and then there's all this, yeah, like climate change stuff and biodiversity stuff and investment in e-commerce stuff and like cosmetics and sciences and rules of origin and market access. So like those are like the different kind of subsections of this. How about I'll go and cut the light off in front. We don't have a we don't have it on uh, paper too, do we? Uh, no. no. That would be. I think it'd be easier for me at least. Yeah. It's kind of hard when it's just. Rolling. They've done a study recently comparing like if you read something like a physical copy of a book versus like on an iPad or something, and there was better comprehension. Yeah. Your, your comprehension is better on paper. Yeah, on paper. I was always curious. Not just you. This is a yeah, study. Is, is it my own? Yeah, yeah. no, I so didn't just make this up. <laughs> no, that's what I always wondered too. If it was just because I was comfortable with that and sort of sticking to an archaic way, just because of comfortable with it, but when that came out, I was like, okay, there's something to this in general. I find it, it is, I find particularly when it's animated, when it's being moved. Yes, that's, that's, yeah, that's exactly it, because you're focusing on that so you get less comprehension, yeah. but especially certain formats I think are harder to. I wonder if we would do well to see if we could possibly get it down to a more comprehensible number, like maybe five pods. I mean, this is completely from obviously the hip, but, but something that when people think like, oh yeah, there's five parts to that thing, yeah. and underneath it we know there's a bunch of others, but if we could possibly come up with some grouping that might yeah. fit. Um, and even like uh, graphical icons to correspond to each of the five, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like for example, intellectual property, you could have like a light bulb with like prison chains on it, you know? <laughs> That's a room, a good way or, a, or a mind with chisel with, yeah. with, 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 yeah, yeah. with chains, right? You look like so, one of those sort of sadistic sex things. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Or like uh, rules of origin, like product of and then it being black power or something. And like market access is like, you know, something with boats maybe. So, so certification. So certification rules of origins interesting. Um, so that that looks like it's mostly like things coming in or out of the country. Is that right? Yeah, and I think it like so we have to do with like, like, um, like the way that uh, stuff will be labeled, like like sort of like like the material that they worry like trains that back out is like they can find animals or whatever. I know that some of that kind of thing is related, and I think that may have had to do with this because they don't want it kind of looks like everything when I look at it we've got uh, a lot of these things are import exports all the way down here yeah. and then this is also import exports in many regards and then uh, it looks like uh, 
custom chef here. I don't know what that is. Do you well, US $200 minimum what? I think it's like you have to have, it's the, only, it's the one that only the US likes. Like bl the blue. It's like, no, nobody else wants to do this. So A is America? Uh, I think that's called, that's called <laughs> the US. Oh, okay. It differs than all the others. I wish, this, yeah, I wish this was laid out a little differently and be easier to... Can we, go to, can we just start at the top? And yeah, yeah, this is, I think this is the top. I mean, so bossy, but no, no, it's, it's cool to start at the top for sure. Um, yeah, so market access chapter... Yeah, so we're, this is the top of the November weekly from Salt Lake City. Yes, Yeah, So... And all of this stuff so far, it has to do with either, um, you know, fees or whatever associated to bringing product in or out. Is that, that, is that what you guys think it is? And I think it has to do with, uh, like, state-owned enterprises, like state-owned. I, 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 I think it includes that. I think in this, this happens to be one of those. Yeah. we got state-owned here, national treatment, the price brands. Or bands. Um, Annex about cheese. There it is. <laughs> Annex about cheese. So what, what, what is Annex yes. about? I don't want Annex. Yes, is. we're back in it. Just about cheese. Where is it? <laughs> cheese, right there. Biotech cheese. Biotech. Yeah, bio cheese. That'll probably be what it is. <laughs> yeah, Monsanto cheese. No. When I was at Occupy St. Louis, was there any text that accompanies them, or is it just a chart? Like, is there any text? I think the actual, the actual thing is like some hideous many thousands of pages. But what's been, what's available? Yeah, well, that's not much. I don't think. Yeah, that's what I was wondering if it was just this visual that we used. Yeah, it's a good question. I've never seen this thing. I've only seen the intellectual properties. Yeah. Uh, I think you better find out. Uh, uh, Dan? Is that I just, I don't know. I wish my life was highly than college. That's too bad. It'll come around again, though. It's got to be go down further. I don't know. I've been, going to, I've been going to this Japanese food group. <laughs> well, I think this is all just about whether you're importing and exporting uh, food better than anything else. On the reincarnation, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to come back as, as the next fascist dictator of the world. I'm going to come back as the most fabulous. <laughs> This is very difficult. I think, yeah, So, uh, I think SPS might be sanitary and phytosanitary. <laughs> Of any of these other companies. 
We can look at, after we go through this, there's the other WikiLeaks thing from Salt Lake City, so we should probably look at that. I think we should look at that now, because I think, at least, uh, are you getting any, I, I can't put anything together. No, I think there needs to be more uh, extra more description. I mean, I was hoping it would be like, you know, food would be an area and something like that, but it's, it's all sort of, that's, that is not how it's set up. Yeah, it's too sophisticated. And, oh, that. <laughs> Um, hopefully that'll clarify this thing a little bit. Okay, there we go. Um, uh, internal government commentary. Um, so, do you see those acronyms there? Like Australia, Japan, Mexico, Malaysia, New Zealand, Peru, Singapore, Chief Negotiator, the CN, Dispute Resolution Most Favored Nation, Non Conforming Measure, Intellectual Property, Salt Lake City, State Owned Enterprise, Super Period of Trade. Okay. So, overview. Trade as being between countries, but but in reality, it's it's breaking down the borders of those countries for global uh, uh, commercial profit purposes. Right. right. Okay. I don't know. I don't know much about that. But I know nothing. You know, it's kind of the free trade thing. You know, like yeah. we won't we won't uh, put taxes on this or won't you know that sort of thing. Uh, but, in, but in reality. Uh, and so yeah, the next thing you know, what this wants to touch on shit that the WTO has in, in essence is really like a property or I think I think it's a lot broader. This wants to turn like creative comments into uh, something that can be trade on the market. Basically, is that what this is? Well, it's saying it. I mean, the U.S. is pushing away so patents on life forms, plants, animals, and yes, surgical procedures. Like you can't suture somebody that way. That's a fucking trade concept of a patent, you know. Like you gotta find another guy that's paying a license to sew someone up. That or at way. least you have to pay for that. Pay them a royalty, more or less, for yeah. being able to use that particular thing. Yeah. You know? It's that kind of crap over and over. Yeah. yeah. Brought up the medicine thing. It reminds me of what the World Bank and IMF do. Africa, yeah. it's, it's they, they make the AIDS medication so expensive yes. that it can't be purchased. And this, this does, this in the pharmaceutical section, it does exactly more of that. It would lock it in so that people would get fucked over now. That's, that's totally part of it. Like 100%. Like that for sure, I think, is a no thing. So let me know if I should like scroll it down. Or, um, so they're saying you're kind of stuck. Intellectual like, so property is like, so basically everyone should go on, agree with the United States, blah, blah, blah. Um, they're saying they won't be able to pull it off in Singapore. It's also just haggling, I guess, here. Pharmaceuticals, here we go. Japan, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Advertise that, it's going to go a long way. <laughs> So, yeah, it's another one. The CNs got together. The chair yeah. and the leads. Yeah, the chair and the leads, yeah. So, the chair got involved. That must have been a healthy debate. Don, 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 Don. Wonder if they had Eastwood there to talk it down. Canada. Are there any, like, angles we got with Canada, right? Like, somebody pointed out to me 
the Canadian Senate was important for this because they the have control over all the North Pole. You know. yeah, that's true. The North Pole is a big thing these days. So Canada was important. Well, they, it's it's all a yeah. secret plot to take them. They want to they want to build a sweatshop there. You know? okay, Santa, Santa, Santa's sweatshop. Sell his secrets to know when people are sleeping in the NSA. Yeah. And then take the elves and yeah. it's all build cars or something. Yeah. Right? I mean, do you know any Canadians that they like they turn them into lawyers? Like, yeah. The Canadians we go ahead. Who's the, the well, saying, you find Canadian people that are working on this issue? You know what I mean? Like, that would be good. We're close to Canada. Right? Yeah. Well, the, I think sort of the thing is, there's a lot of undercurrent these days in Canada, particularly with the uh, shale oil uh, yeah. issues. And I think there's a number of other. Uh, there's, there's, remember the student? Uh, uh, there was a lot of student unrest about the uh, raising. What we looked at and went, that looks like a deal because uh, you know they're raising. Um, raising the tuition up to what we would have thought that was ours in about 1970. Right. But um, nevertheless, uh, there's a, there was a fairly strong um, you know, I think the reaction to a lot of the corporations. Remember the, the railroads with that little minor accident and they blew up an entire town? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, about safety issues that they're, you know, just by the hell in a yeah. handbag. Um, I think there's a number of things that probably they would be concerned about corporate overreach again. Yeah. Well, one of the dramas in Canada is between like sort of like the bigger green groups that are sanctioning these big foundations and stuff, and and something I think Naomi Klein pointed out a few days ago on the internet is that the, there were big environmental organizations that pushed NAFTA and that that they were supported it. And so what we got to look at is are there people are there people in town that are going to support this? Are there people is there sort of an alignment of people? In, in places like Canada that again will support NAFTA. Yeah, that was her connection point. with the discussion so, of pharmaceuticals, U.S. and Japan. Yeah. They're non paper. So the rest who is of the supporting it? It's not really a right. What's that? Who is supporting it other than corporations? Because I haven't heard of anybody supporting it. Well, like I said, yeah. it's pretty much across the board, so not just in the U.S., but worldwide that labor organizations are against it. Yeah. I mean, there may be a handful of exceptions, but like I said, it's so comprehensive and so... I have no idea what any well, the labor, you know, it's, it's, it's a mixed there. lesson, but with the labor uh, unions, in this like the labor unions, baseball players, well, I mean, have to the time, so they think their business, you know, their jobs, either at risk or their jobs, are going to be increased. So, in fact, I agree that that, by far, the majority of the situation is not labor. Right, but it is. You would think that people would be right now. Yeah. There's, there's been some floating around and like this new release like I just saw it. there has been a big wave of grief like, like I searched on Google News and there was a bunch of international headlines like oh, they searching New Zealand angles you know what I mean uh, Malaysia I haven't seen more than the well, here and there, yeah, but it, it's very scattered. That's part of what we're trying to get a handle on. Is, yeah, like, how can we then sort of narrow down this topic? Yeah. How can we open it, open it up so people feel like they can access the stuff? You know what I mean? Like, I think that's like some bad news. So, that's a good question. This yeah. could be actually so, sanitized stuff from inside the country that leaked this to WikiLeaks. That's why. Who did? It's not. It's unknown. But it, WikiLeaks was saying it was. Basically, the delegation from a country. I bet it was somewhere like Mexico or Malaysia or somewhere that they are just aren't down with this. You know? So this could be their own notes. I don't really know. Um, so because you know how good they are. So it's a very good question. So yeah, basically the U.S. is kind of wedge in there. Put down. They're like, no, we're gonna have all the finance. It would override. Do you know what choice of forum provisions is in this kind of trade? End of the second paragraph of investment. The only people who can override the choice of the more money than everybody in this room together. 
that's kind of a rough washing. It probably is a lot more than that. Yeah, I'm going to be more of that. I'll trust there's a reason for it. Contracts are under power. I have no idea what choice of form And do you think there's any other, like, you know, more, that someone has already kind of put together, like, some sort of comprehensive view? Yeah, I think. Well, we're all digging for the same thing, but I'm just hoping. Yeah. Well, yeah. Besides that, I don't think I can even figure out the wheel at all. I will look for something on this computer. I feel like the same way I feel my computer most of the time. Right. Well, the thing is, there's such a media lack. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do that. All right. Um, I was gonna look at the flush the TVP site too. So is there? Come on. All right. So, was it? Where Where is it on here? Oh, and then go down uh, to globalization. There. Um, Dan, are you familiar with the? Um, uh, the woman the, uh, the was on, um, on uh, uh, Amy Goodman, mm -hmm. and she and she has an organization that is uh, something no, like there's TPP stuff and then TPIP oh, nice. stuff. Uh, I think it's called Exposed. That's cool. Um, TPP.org, I think. What was it called? Are you familiar with that one? Which one? I think it's called Exposed. Uh, oh, yeah. TPP.org. Okay. I was thinking that she might have an explanation that might be helpful for us to understand. Okay. Any kind of subdivision. As if, you know, anything we could. Yeah. Yeah, it's like something like that. Yeah. They were closer. Cool. This stuff is good. Um, I have stuff on the IATP website. Pardon me? Oh, th this stuff is good to start with. I, that's helpful. Um, yeah, doubling down on failed trade policy. So this is from March. Do you guys have anything like since um, the uh, so November? So right now we're really focusing on TTIP. Yeah, what's but that? Go, so it's a this one? Trans Pacific. Transatlantic Trade and oh. Trade and Investment Partnership, oh. which is the EU US. Jesus, God, it's like whack a mole with this stuff, man. Yeah, you know. Um, okay, that's good. So if you go to back to that globalization page, uh huh, and scroll down further, um, so the TTIP stuff is. Okay. The most current stuff we have, we leaked the EU's position on. Uh, nice. Something. The uh, the general EU agenda. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Did you did you look at the card that you? Uh, that yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that that did have a number of them. There. Oh, cool. But I think that. But what, did you find one that was called? I thought it was exposed. I thought it stuck in my head. Yeah. I feel like I've seen Th that's, that. That's that's yeah. I know for sure what I saw was on was on uh, mm -hmm. Amy Goodman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she has. I'm, I've been surprised at how little she's had. Yeah. yeah. And that's the only thing I've ever noticed. Though. Yeah. Oh, so this it. is it. Yeah. Exposed the TV. Okay. Yep. That's the one. Yeah. Do they have anything that looks like a summary? That is a great question. Leads to job loss. How, how it impacts you, attend an event, media, take action, yeah. and a bunch of pictures. Yeah. yeah that, was just the, say, that was our whole clip that when you looked at it, it was like, <laughs> yeah. how does all of this influence these certain mm -hmm. interest areas? Or is that. Would you do like before TPP or TPP or something like that? Well, that could be, that could be an interesting way to look at it. I kind of like this genre well, style. What, I think what would be good is to also look at what's happened. Uh, I mean, if we did that, uh, you know, said this is what we, this is where it is now, this is what we think would happen, and then make a comparison that this is what happened with NAFTA, this is what happened afterwards. So, like the job losses, the taking of um, of, uh, of jobs from the rich Haitians, the, the working in the fields and giving them nothing now. Um, <laughs> There's yeah. insane things uh, that uh, I think because they did it with rice, I think, or sugar, one of the two, or maybe both. Um, in the case of Asia, that was And if we go from like current laws to something for fisheries or whatever it was compared to like a different, you know, like if you give like, if people get a picture in their mind, yes. something that we think is appalling. Well, anytime, anytime we can use visuals 
to get our get our point across. I think uh, you're, you're, you're miles ahead of trying to get text to tell the same story. Yeah. And, uh, people are much, and also with this emotion, that's always the big trick. Is, um, making sure this is just stats. That, uh, yeah. Yeah, totally. I've read that too. That like they've done studies where like if you say you know eight thousand people are suffering from you know whatever situation, and if you give one anecdotal story, <laughs> they're more likely to make donations. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, exactly. But you, uh, or you know, at least it can use on many things. The one to keep always using, which I'm sure you guys hear about too, is is the vote no um, uh, for the uh, because of the marriage yeah. amendment. Uh, you know, the mess that was going on. Yeah. But you know, they really led the way in terms of uh, using that twist of um, instead of giving them all the statistics to yeah. say, would you know anybody who was affected by it? And, right. You know, and, and, and then you know, someone say, oh, my little brother, or my yeah, that's or some, somebody. You know. That's the thing that flips me. Exactly. Yeah. When it's a personal home, connection. And it's when emotional, you right? those are the two person. two key things that they yeah, exactly. When you think of them as human beings, when you dehumanize them, you can. Oh yeah. Well, well that's yeah. Isn't that the way we yeah. operate? I mean, it's a really I mean, we've got baby. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just glance at this really quick and then p pull up some of this stuff here because I think this might be really helpful you know, for us. You know, it might be worthwhile, depending on whether or how ambitious we want to be, is to, um, is to each take one of the sites and, um, and go home with it and yeah. see if we could make a little thing and then share... Each of the categories? Yeah, we could... We could oh, one of the sites. Oh, one of the sites and, and, and look at what, what, how we think it got broken down and, and then share that with each other just uh -huh. by emails. You know, just say, well, see, me kind of came off like blah 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 um, and then what happened because uh, 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 I mean the rig things we want some way that we feel we can handle yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's more manageable. conveniently talk to people about yeah. what's going on here that's true. It's hard to put into words when you don't understand it. Well, well, screwed up for domain name. Yeah, I thought it'd be a one. No W is. Okay. Um. I'll, I think this one will be good. So. But if you say things like. Okay, right behind you. Okay. Here. Oh, I found it. Uh, yeah. I walk through that door and then I take a right into the bathroom. So. Uh, here, I think I, the link I was on uh, is right here. This was good. Yeah. Come on. So, what do you guys do? Other than political. Did you get rid of all? I am a web developer. A web developer. A web, web developer, yeah. So can you, can you work on uh, websites that are suffering? Uh, yes. I do that. And you get paid for it. Yeah. That's a good program. Uh, yeah, cool. I, do you I, do I, people's personal website? Yeah, sometimes. I, well, I've got a business one that needs to, needs to be reworked. It's been a series of issues. So. I, could, I could definitely do that. I, I do a lot of tweaks and stuff. I actually did one from the Beehive Collective, which does anti globalization artwork. Uh -huh. And uh, they launched a Kickstarter. It just wrapped up like yesterday. They raised up almost $110,000. With your help? Uh, uh, I did the website. I overhauled it. We launched the website with the Kickstarter. So. And that's a very, actually, very anti globalization thing as well. You know, like, they always have a lot of stuff about uh, Central America and stuff. So, you know, maybe actually. Like this could actually use the imagery from like Beehive to help illustrate some of this stuff. Have you seen some of their artwork before? Beehive? Yeah. No, the only one I've uh, noticed lately that I thought was just fantastic was the, the Census Project. Mm. Have you ever looked at that? No. I, I, because one of the things with all the, because I've been working a fair amount with the, with the, the uh, as I, I'm renaming it for myself and the climate, the climate instability, mm -hmm. um, because climate change I think is rather humble for the real situation. <laughs> it's kind of like saying a conflict when you've got a war on your hands. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but anyway, what uh, I oftentimes we're looking for images that we can show people yeah. and explain it. And I have to say this: whoever put this one together just did such a wonderful job because it's really easy to graphically see what they're talking about. That's cool. Consensus project. Consensus project. Yeah. Cool. So, that's, but anyway, um, could I show you guys the beehive thing like quickly? Yeah, yeah go ahead. It, it's. Uh, Document that you just had off, off of exposed the TPP. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was from Public Citizen. I think you mentioned like Public Citizen or somebody did. 
Uh, public citizen, citizen. I, I mentioned citizen. Is it? Uh, here we, yeah, see citizen dot yeah. org. That's that's this one. Oh, okay. Public citizen. Yeah, I've yeah. seen it before. Okay. Come on, buddy. Go. Anyway, um, yeah. So that seemed pretty good. Uh, Helpful. Oops. I think I might have accidentally like closed it. Nice yeah, it's not bad. Um, expose the TPP. Yeah. There's a lot of text that's still very bold. Yeah, it's got a jaunty look to it. So, the Beehive Collective, uh, yeah, they did, um, they just launched a new poster campaign. Mm -hmm. so, and so the, the Kickstarter was to go with that. Um, it's like super large format art to to show issues of globalization. Okay. And so here, this is. Are they actually selling the artwork? Yeah, right? yeah. And uh, you can get the poster. So I put this stuff together. So it, t it takes a second to load, but you can. There's an inside and an outside. Like that's um, like shows the plan for colonization mm -hmm. and and uh, and. Exploitation, and then this is like the resistance sort of inside. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Go. It, take, it takes a minute. To yeah, you didn't there it is. artwork. You no. You, this is other people's artwork. Yeah. That you are showing. Yeah, I did the website. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so it shows like. Oh, so it's like a medieval town or something like that. Yeah, it's like that Central America and uh, everything. Can you, like, get these exploited? four things seem to be for the very uh, specific yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the, and so labor, the, 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 the first part uh, of the fair yeah. trade, I guess. Yeah. 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 Well, so this is supposed to be, that like, be the uh, imposition and of, and like, military forces and so stuff, like, like things. onto this area yeah. on this consumerist can, junk. Can you write these down or all that kind of I feel like we're and like the conquistador like we shit need, coming from Canada away from it. Yeah. Nike. No, it's not mine. And then, uh, and then uh, these like fake, fake uh, green water lights. Like, uh, like, um, and then the inside of the poster is shows uh, like resistance basically. So it's pretty cool. And, uh, just, uh, and, that, and that brought them one hundred and ten thousand dollars yeah. in sales on that. Uh, in the Kickstarter, yeah. Which, is pretty, I'm, which I'm pretty happy about. Yeah, that sounds very impressive. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. And so yeah. then also, is that you are also responsible for uh, trying to get the things to kick down the, you know, the find it easily and that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. And the website, I think, ended up working out well enough for that. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, well, that was, um, uh, Maybe we should exchange names and numbers because sure. uh, we can talk about whether. Yeah, definitely. So check this out. Can I go back down to that? Is, uh, yeah, you yeah, whatever you'd like to do. Did you want to see the the PDF one? This one? Uh, no, I wanted to. I didn't know where you. It, all of these were the tabs for that site. So hit the button. Oh. Yeah. Thank so, you. yeah, like, check this out, like, all the little snails fighting the stormtroopers. No, it, 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 it does look like a, like a, either a woodcut from, like, you know, from the 1500s or something like that. And who, who did all this? Uh, the, the Beehive uh, Design Collective. So it says, communism, drugs, terrorism, resources. <laughs> tucked away in this, you know? And they've been pulling out, like, side elements of the image to represent different things. Um, and, uh, so you could, you could totally, 
amazing how intricate this is. Yeah. So, I mean, look at, if you look back here, there was the one with the mouse, and then the mouse had the belly full of little uh, mice inside. <laughs> yeah. And so this shows like colonialism and uh, yeah. here's the big uh, ships yeah. arriving. With, I mean, this being a, a tourist show. Right. Coca Cola on a train and with Wonder Bread following behind. All right. Um, Dan, why don't you give me your phone number? Sure. All right. Yeah, but. Um, so I was just thinking, like, that's, that's definitely what the, um, uh, like, that's what the gist of what a lot of their art is about, you know, is, like, finding ways to, um, express, like, these, uh, type of thematic issues, you know, okay. like, about the very kinds of things that people can experience. So, if you made some literature or something, like, there would be definitely a couple good, like, beehive. Okay. They, could, they could be used, yeah. Okay. And they would allow you to use them. Yeah, it's all creative content. All of their artwork really is all for remix. Okay, so you don't, you're not, uh, it's not a, a intellectual property issue. No, the very adamantly the goal is to just distribute the art. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Uh, this, is, this is a website that I, I did this website for this group called the Beehive Design Collective. So there's their Kickstarter to distribute this poster. Um, just finished, uh, and, uh... So, the details. Yeah, the details. Are <laughs> I mean, I can't even see it. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, so I really it's really cool. They've done a lot of similar um, other graphics projects. Yeah. 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 yeah that, like, I'm sorry, what's your name? Right. I actually had a piece of Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so okay. Web straight. But there's, there's done a number of different like graphics campaigns like um uh Plan Columbia, pretty great well, area in America. So I got so, so. in the action group is like how the you guys are up there and yeah. to get the information out there and we can't do that as well because not everybody yeah. understands how it is for you, right. but art everybody uh, understands. Yeah. So that's like that was my first thing when I was up there. I was like, we need to do something with art. Everybody understands art. And everybody can read it and get an idea of why it takes it. So I was thinking that by this is yours, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, these guys are okay. okay. no, this is like asking, yeah, asking questions, like what is this about? Like, I just did, like I obviously it caught my eye, so yeah, okay. totally. And that's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, I like this, I like the idea of this, but it needs to like say more. Yeah, because it's fees and all that sort of thing. They have to control the like. And then this needs to say less, so that people can go in the back and not go scanning, 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 which is exactly what I did. I care. Yeah, I know. So that's the thing. You need to be concise, but yet explain all of the people who are going to be affected by this. And it's such a broad span. That's the part that's hard. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to break it down. So. But yet that's why it's important. It's such a wide range. Yeah. So and then they did another. Um, that's a really sweet uh, one. Yeah. I'm, I'm, thank you. I'm, are you proud of it? Yeah. Is it definitely. one of your babies that you're proud of? Yeah. <laughs> and it's something that I right. spent more. Right. So I think I see what you're saying. So, yeah. so I like that one. That's the picture. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't know, just breaking it down, but having a head in the Yeah, I was Robo spiders. I'm not saying they're robo spider aliens. I like the Microsoft Windows like techno spider. Yeah. With the Disney logo thing on it. Like that could be intellectual property. The spider okay. right there. Yeah. Totally. It's, the, the point about the moon. it's like an eye spy. Yeah. But exactly. better. And then the, the radiation right there. I love that it's in Spanish too. I have like a huge spot when I grew up in other countries. Yeah. And somebody took away their yeah, part. A lot of this art has a lot to do with it. Yeah, so See, that would be like under That's why I was like, there's Spanish on the This is the back from Oak Tree. Should we, should we share uh, uh, numbers? And, uh, I, I've just got the dance. Uh, uh, Are we going to I come back together? But should we just share some of the bars? Yeah, that was an email. So that makes yeah, that's true. All right. I can write mine down. I didn't mean to. No, I didn't mean to be like, oh, we should probably do this. I think you're right, though. We're kind of running out of time. Who's gonna like how when we communicate? Are you gonna send out like a third donor or something like that? Well, why don't we? Yeah, why don't we, yeah, yeah. We that would make sense that one of us should out to put it all together. In, I mean, as far as just having our yeah. names on one piece. Uh, okay. Um, suppose. I don't know that I'm the best person to do it. Okay. No, that's right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Think or spank. Thank or spank. I thought that was that. funny. <laughs> Okay, folks, um, we kind of like get together and sort of sum up for a minute before everybody splits out of here. Like, I know it's getting late. You want to try one of these? Or uh, I think it'd be good to yeah, here, just summarize I'll leave you that one. Why don't you put do yours, before we all you put yours here? Jennifer put hers there. Anyone? Can you get yours in there? And Jennifer there. Hello. Mic check. I can put a leaf. Mic check. I'll get a leaf. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. All right, folks, so it's almost 9 o'clock. It's, it's quite late. But if, if people could just maybe take like a minute to explain kind of what their group has been up to and what are the next steps that we got to know about, and uh, that, that would be great. Is that okay with everybody? And then we'll all head out tonight. Is that cool? All right. So, um, I guess, okay, cool. Um, I'll, I'll go first real quick. Um, on the analysis thing, we looked over a bunch of the documents that were available and looked at some various websites that we could check out, like exposethetpp.org. One of the things we thought was, if we can find a way to break this down into about five or six major subject areas, and ideally find some kind of graphic element that goes with each of those ideas, that would be a way to design information for people to kind of like plug into and feel like they can get a handle on something that's pretty complicated. So we're, gonna, we're sort of looking at like, yeah, different uh, existing resources that are out there, because there's a lot of details, but also saying, we have some idea that we could break this down into major chunks that could make this more accessible to people. That's generally the gist of where we ended up. So that, that's our group sort of overall summation. Pretty decent. Okay, that's what we got. You guys? All right, we have one major action coming up soon, which is Saturday the 21st at 6 p.m. Part of the Holly Dazzle Print. We meet at 5.30 to do a quick meetup. Uh, but the, the basic action is meet at 5.30 to 6, 12th and Nicollet at the... Hey guys, keep it down over there, Blake. Thank you. I'm trying to think of the coffee shop. There's a coffee shop. What, what's the caribou? The caribou coffee shop near 12th and Nicollet. Meet there, 5.30 p.m., 5 to 6 p.m. We're going to go into the parade. We're also going to have people on the outside handing literature out and talking to people to educate them. Okay. That's our first, that's our major action coming up. We're also planning, and you can if you want to get involved in uh, later actions. We're also planning actions to actually occupy, and some people are going to be are willing to do sit-ins in politicians' offices and uh, get arrested if necessary. Uh, that's also planning, but we don't have any set dates for that yet or any set places. But more than likely, it's going to be Fulbushar and Franklin's office and, and other offices, possibly multi office occupation simultaneously. Uh, and, uh, did I miss anything as far as action school planning? Great, that sounds are fantastic. We, are we going to have another meeting regarding this? 
and, and I'm going to put out the information. I'm going to put out additional information on uh, Facebook, and uh, we'll, we'll set up follow-up meetings for that. Uh, as far as that, otherwise, the only other follow-up meeting planned is going to be prior to the Holly Dazzle parade, starting at 5:30 at the Caribou on Nicollet and Twelve. Okay. Dave, is that a game? I have, I have Saturday the 21st. Signs up on this sheet so that. So Henry doesn't put anybody to come on the sheet. Okay. So the remaining group. All right, that sounds great. What are you going to hand out? Do you want to hand out over here? Yeah. Hand out the card. Guys, guys. Well, it's not really. Okay, but if they, well, yeah, if they take our gun shots, we're going to take our gun shots.